<laughs> We're on McCormick Avenue in Madison, Wisconsin, jamming to a great 1983 hit. 88, baby. On our way to Hands Around the Capitol. Woo and life goes on. 88. Long after the thrill of living is gone. <laughs> that karaoke car show ain't got nothing on us. Nothing. Da -da. Nothing. Da -da. He wish he was this good of a driver and a karaoke singer. Da -da. Da -da. With the cause. Oh yeah. Life goes on. Here's <laughs> Michael. Get up, bro. We finna get ready to hit the capital, bro. Okay, this is Lee Joyner, and we're here for a hands around the Capitol, and we love the moment, and everything is beautiful. It's a lot of beautiful kids here, a lot of beautiful families here, and we're having fun. So right now, we're about to ask this Jamila about her journey. The Wisconsin Youth Advisory Council had an event called Hands Around the Capitol to raise awareness for foster care. It is a council made up of current and former foster youth. So foster care is an issue that is dear to our hearts and we really find it important to raise awareness for the need of positive reform within our child welfare system. What really made you to see that this was needed the most? I found the fact that people who uh, fight for a similar cause coming together and actually linking hands and showing that, you know, they're all working together for the same end goal, I found it to be highly empowering. You're telling uh, other parents to, to become foster parents and stuff. Why should they? I really want you to have the same outcomes that other youth who do not enter foster care have. Do you feel like that? You have to be married, you have to be a couple to raise a foster child. Absolutely not. I believe that single parents can definitely raise foster children because single parents raise children every day. So which is better, a 17 year old or a five year old? For me, I would take the 17 year old. I prefer people who can do things on their own, like cook, clean. Yeah, so tell us about what kind of mind state should a parent have and not be bias or close minded towards the child. I feel that foster parents should have the same mind frame that people who work with foster youth have and that's that every interaction that you have with that foster youth can change their life for the better or for the worse. When you have your interactions with foster youth you can you should have them knowing that you can create the world a difference to them and that should be your end goal. You want them to have the best outcomes possible so you want to give them the best livelihood possible. So how do you get the foster parents who want to foster but who's afraid to. If a foster parent wants to foster and they're afraid to, it's usually because of negative stigmas. There's this stigma that foster youth enter the foster care system be through the juvenile justice system. Most foster youth enter the foster care system through no fault of their own, usually through abuse and neglect from an adult, right? 
So you want to break down that stigma. You also want to break down the stigma that older youth have behavioral health issues. It's just that people aren't listening or people aren't trying to figure out what is the underlying issue to their anger. You just want to help them break down the stigma. You want to you want to make sure that they understand the truth. And we thank you um, for answering all our questions. I thank you for taking this time to yeah. talk with me. And we can learn more about you in the future. Definitely. Anytime. So now we just have it from one of the greatest women on earth, great leader. And we are Miss Jamila. You know, 88, we are. <laughs>